Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. As promised, we have tons of spell videos coming through for you guys. So don't forget to comment, like, share. Let me know if you guys enjoy these spells. And also for those of you guys that try them out, always come back and comment. Let us know what your experience is so that you can give feedback to the other viewers. All right, my lovelies, like I mentioned, we have tons of spell videos coming through for you. And this one is for those of you guys that are looking for reconciliation. If you guys have been either separated, departed, or there's been an official breakup and you're wanting to bring them back, but also remind them of the good things. So this is primarily for those that ended in bad, uh, on bad terms. This is definitely going to help you. So. If you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. I will let you know what the ingredients are. So we're going to start off with the incense. This is something that is very important and very crucial when setting intention and preparing. Uh, you do want to implement incense that is going to be um, primarily for dominions. As you guys can see here, we are using dragon's blood incense. You can use any type of love incense that has more of a dominion's type of energy. Um, obviously, dragon's blood is primarily to have control over the situation, and that's exactly what we're using. You're going to also be using a jar. You're going to be needing a jar with a to be able to seal it with a cap. You're going to be using grains of paradise. If you guys don't have any of these ingredients, you can click the description box below. Like I've mentioned to you guys, we have partnered up with Amazon, so you'll be able to find all the ingredients for my spell work on there. Now we're also going to be using honey. You're going to be using a black, black yarn, as you guys can see here. We're going to be using powdered sugar, we're going to be using three love oils, whichever ones you prefer. Uh, always integrate, uh, like I said, uh, Dominion type of energy. So we're going to be using here the Dominance oil with the Popo or Hala Hala oil, as well as we want to use, um, I highly encourage you guys to use the Tranquil oil. Now we often use in Tranquil oil, that's to get it going that's that's to create anxiousness in them so that they can reach out in this situation we're going to use tranquil oil why because it's going to help them subside the anger or any type of animosity that they may be holding on to maybe you did them something that was primarily not a good thing and they can't seem to get over that the tranquil oil is definitely going to help you with that now we're also going to be using cinnamon. As you guys know, cinnamon is a facilitator um, to give us quicker, faster results. It's almost like using precipitation oil, which is why we're going to be using paprika as well. Now, we're going to be using amansa wapo, uh, amansa wapo leaves. These leaves are primarily for dominions as well as to have them docile. Um, so it's going to empower our spell, but also it's going to keep them a bit more submissive. And that's exactly what we want. Now you're going to be using some catnip herb <clears throat> and we're going to be using some tobacco. Why tobacco? Because tobacco does create anxiety. It creates, um, almost this anxiousness of wanting to see you, wanting to be around you. But keeping in mind, adding the tranquil oil will help facilitate them to reaching out and coming towards you in a much more faster way, but also releasing the animosity or anger that they may be holding on to. That's what the tranquil oil does. So we have the best of both worlds. Now you're also going to be using red wine. Um, doesn't matter the brand, whatever it is that you choose to use. We're also going to be using some roses, some rose petals. And you're going to be using the center of the apple. I'm not sure if you guys can see the star part. We're going to keep it. And if it comes, if you have it with seeds, 
keep them. Um, this is almost a, the reason why we're using it is because we're working with all the elements here. Um, so that's the reason. And you don't have to put the whole, as an example, this, the whole apple, if it doesn't fit the jar, um, you can always cut it the way we did. We just primarily want to use the star. Why? Because apple is a detonator for love, lust spells, as well as um, temptation, right? And seduction. But the stars is a representation, or the star in the apple is a representation of the five elements, which is earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. That's the reason why we're using that. And of course, you're going to be using some parchment paper with black marker. Okay, so let's get to the nitty gritty. Make sure to consecrate your jar, cleanse it, remove any negative energy. If you don't know how to consecrate, it is as simplistic as getting a paper napkin or um, <clears throat> a paper napkin or some cotton balls, putting some holy water in it or some Florida water to cleanse it completely and remove any negative or excess negative energies. So once that is done, you're gonna put that to the side. What we're gonna do now is I'm going to put this to the side so I can tell you guys exactly what's going to happen. So let me get my marker here one second. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the parchment paper is we're gonna write down their full details. Now for this spell, you do need a picture of yourself as well as the picture of the target. So you would need both pictures of yourself and the target. If you have a picture together, that is um, that also works, okay? So, but you are going to need some parchment paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to write down their information with their date of birth, okay? And you're going to write this down, their info and their date of birth three times. Okay, like this. Their information, first name, last name, date of birth, three times going down. Then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn it to the right. We're gonna turn it to the right and you're gonna write down your information, okay? your first name, last name, and date of birth, okay? Your info and date of birth, your info and date of birth, okay? And you're gonna do this going down nine times. So, as you guys can see here, you're gonna write down over their name, your first name, last name, date of birth, and you're gonna go down nine times, okay? Why nine and three? Because three is a specific powerful number, but it also helps to subdue them, and nine is overpowering. So it strengthens and creates the domination energy around you. Um, that's the reason why we're using your information going down nine times. Okay, once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to get the picture of yourself as well as the picture of the partner, or the person that you're doing this, the target basically. Okay, so we're going to use this as an example. Let me cut this really quick. All right, so let's pretend these are I am not um, a great artist, you guys, so don't judge. <laughs> Do not judge. All right. Oh, this looks kind of, um,
<clears throat> okay, this dude definitely looks a bit evil, but <laughs> and the girl looks a little weird. Okay, anyways, this is just for showing purposes. <laughs> All right, so we have the girl and the guy. If you guys are doing this, uh, let's say you're same sex and you're doing it for a female, you're a female and you're doing it for a female, you're gonna be using the exact same ingredients. The only thing that changes is if you're doing it for a female, female, as an example, you would use the hibiscus flower. And that's what we're going to be using. Um, if you are doing it uh, and you're a man and you're doing it for a female instead of using the hibiscus what you're going to be using is John the Conqueror um, herb uh, or the root and the reason for that is because obviously you want to overpower them if it's same sex like I said then it doesn't change it's the same thing if you're a female doing it for a guy using the exact same ingredients the only thing that changes is the hibiscus flower and this is only if you're a man that's doing this for a female or for the same sex uh, partner okay all right so once that is done what you're going to do is you're going to put your picture and the picture of the target um, as you guys can see here and what we're gonna do is we're going to add some tranquil oil on both the pictures and some dominions oil and some pull pull oil or hala hala oil uh, once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to add a bit of cinnamon and you're going to be adding a bit of paprika. Now, something that, something that um, I would highly encourage you guys to use is, and this is extra, this is only if you want to really give it that that ump of power is some devil shoestring devil shoestring is extremely powerful and it is ideally used for protection now what happens when we use this in a love spell it will create a protection energy around the relationship between you two so that no other outside energies can affect the relationship so it keeps it it keeps the relationship, it keeps you and your partner protected, but it also keeps influences away from the partner or from yourself. Like I mentioned, it keeps outside energy away from you. So that's exactly what I would highly encourage you guys to use. Like I said, you don't have to, but if you really want to empower and give it that bump, that ump that it needs, definitely use some devil shoestring. Of course, we're using that for my client. Um, this is a spell that I'm working for a client. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to add some of the honey on the paper and we're going to add some grains of paradise. Grains of paradise are amazing, amazing uh, seeds that you can use any type of spell, any type of love spell that you want to really empower and you want to add lust, desire, uh, sensuality to the working, Grains of Paradise is the way to go. It is extremely powerful. It gives you amazing results. And if it's the connection or the physical connection has been lacking, it will definitely empower it, okay? All right, so once that has been done, you are pretty much set to go. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up the parchment paper with the pictures. You're going to put the pictures towards each other, as you guys can see here. Okay, let me show you again. You're going to put the pictures towards each other, facing each other, and then you're going to turn the paper towards you, turn it to the side, this is the part where if you are using the devil shoestring, I would put one or two of the devil shoestrings on here um, and then you would turn it and fold it towards you again. And then one more time towards you. 
all right once that is done you're going to get the black yarn you're going to get the black yarn and you're going to you're going to tie it okay giving it a bunch of turns making sure that it is sealed that nothing comes out of it let me put this to the side you guys so i can get the original one give me one second <clears throat> all right so it's going to look like this and like i said we did use the devil shoestring on here um, once that is done what you're going to do is you're going to get the piece of the apple that has the star in it and you're going to drop it in the jar like this all right now once that is done we're going to add the little little sachet that we did okay now this is the part where you're going to be integrating all of the ingredients on here the grains of paradise we're going to be adding some hibiscus flour not sure if I mentioned uh, you guys need hibiscus flour like I said nothing needs to change other than you would substitute the hibiscus for John the Conqueror root or herb um, if you're if you're a man and you're doing this for your partner so you're going to add some of the hibiscus flour we're going to be adding some of the rose petals always putting intention really focusing on what you're doing what you're wanting to make happen you're wanting them to come to you subdued you want them to really profess their love for you um, let go of any anger and animosity that they may be holding um, this is why this spell works marvelous for clients that uh, didn't end very well but they're looking for a reconciliation nonetheless it will help with the anger it will help with all of that okay all right so once that is done what we're going to do now is we're going to add some of the powdered sugar now this spell is a seven day spell so what happens you're going to leave this sitting for seven days always keep keep it in a dark place where no one can see it keep it either in your altar or under your bed where no one's going to be able to mess with it or touch it you're going to leave it there for seven nights after the seventh night the first the first urine that you do in the morning you're going to keep very little of it and you're going to be adding it to the jar now why urine because that is a very powerful um dominions uh ingredient that we use for spell work when we're trying to dominate when we're trying to subdue someone to us so i will continue to guide you guys through this let me put this to the side really quick <clears throat> all right so now we're going to be adding some of the cinnamon we're going to be adding some of the paprika don't want to add too much paprika now we're going to before we add the oils you also have the option of adding some lavender now you can skip this you can skip this part if there's not a lot of like anger or animosity towards each other and you're just doing this for the reconciliation part right your partner left or decided to walk out of the relationship they don't really want to put effort anymore then this will work perfectly fine without the lavender um but if 
you know, obviously I'm doing this for a client and I'm doing this for um, not only for the reconciliation, but also to remove that anger, to remove the animosity that they're holding on to, um, which I think primarily that's the reason why the relationship didn't work. So they were together, they broke up, um, then they went back with each other, but he just couldn't, he couldn't forgive uh, something that was done when they were on a temporary separation. Um, so I think that anger is really what's triggering this last separation. And uh, so we have to get take it, take care of that. And, and it's important to understand the type of love workings that you do. Because as an example, I get a lot of clients that come to me and tell me, oh, you know, I did an obsession spell as an example. And I got amazing results. But then, you know, um, they started having anger or whatever. And then we get to the bottom of it, and it's because they were holding on to things that they can forgive their partner for. So it's important to understand the nature of your situation to also be able to get the best results. Like I said, this could be done for any type of reconciliation, but primarily the lavender, as an example, the, intranqu or the tranquil oil is used to subside of that anger, to heal that anger, that animosity that they're holding on to, that pride may be the reason why uh, they are either not wanting to work out the relationship or they pull away because of that, okay? So now what we're going to also integrate is some forget-me-not herb. Um, and this flower is, you know, exactly for that, to create... Um, to to make the you know the target subdue to make them heal not force them to heal but primarily to kind of make them forget of the anger they're holding on to um all right so that's the reason why we're using the forget me not flower okay and finally we're going to be adding a bit of the amansa guapo Okay, and this is specifically for that as well, to subdue them, to have them become more submissive, um, the desire of wanting to be more submissive. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> All right, so once that has been done, we're going to add now the oils. We're gonna add Tranquil Oil. And like I said, this is a seven day ritual. So you're gonna keep this, once it's done, you're going to keep it, we're gonna add the Domination Oil. You're gonna keep this away from plain sight. Keep it in your altar or under your bed. And some popo oil, hala hala. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to add, let me move this to the side. Now we're going to add some of the honey. All right, so once that is done, now we're going to be adding the wine. All 
Okay, you want to make sure not to put very much, not to fill it all the way to the top because like I mentioned, after the seventh night, what you're going to do is you're going to be adding some of your urine that is going to, so something like this, if you can see, because we're going to, like I said, we're going to be adding some urine to it. And after the seventh day, like I said, you're going to go back, take this out, you're going to open it, and you're going to put some of the first urine from your morning. So if you forget, as an example, today is the eighth day, you wake up in the morning and you forget, you cannot, like once you've gone the first the first piss basically of the morning um you can't do it no more so you can't get your second or third so you're gonna have to do it the next day um do not forget it is very important to get the first morning piss all right you're gonna pour some in there once that is done it is completely done you're going to close it up like this and you're going to shake it okay you're going to keep it, like I said, under your bed or by your altar. Do not disturb it. Do not allow anyone to see it. After you have integrated the first urine of the night, you will keep it in a dark place. Once they have returned to you, once there has been reconciliation, you can do as you want with this. Um, ideally, uh, after it has been, after you have got results, uh, you have the option of tossing it out or you have the option of keeping it. Now, keep in mind, if it's going to be in a jar and you're going to be integrating or adding urine to it the first night after the seventh day, um, you might need to burp it, the jar, okay? Why? Because it, obviously it has toxins and you don't want it to pop. Um, but what I tell, uh, clients is, or like this, that I'm doing it for a client, uh, once the seven days are over, I will have them, you know, integrate their urine. Once it has been integrated, um, if you live in your own property or whatever, you can always bury this and as always bury it by your garden or where you know you give it attention you give it focus why uh, love workings are always marvelous when you uh, bury them by your bushes or your rose bushes or wherever your garden is at why because you take care of it and you nurture your garden so just as you nurture your garden and your roses and your uh, herbs and all of that it's also the energy of nurturing and taking care of the relationship okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this like share and comment if you guys do try it out definitely come back let us know what your results was i wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon till then bye